Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle with Pretty Problem, and today I have a special guest with me. This is my mommy, Sister Colleen of Bean Pie Queen, and um, today I did her makeover. So as you can see, she's nice and glamorous. She wanted what look did you say you wanted? Um, modest and elegant. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully we nailed that. And sixty and sensational. Oh, hey, yes, yes I'm sixty. And thank I, you. I kinda, thank you, I know. <laughs> and I kind of did a little doohickey up there on her head. Yes. So that was like last minute. We needed to pull it up, pull it together. Clearly somebody is obsessed with buns. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this. I don't know if it's a tutorial or just be a get ready with me kind of like a makeover type thing. And yeah, so don't forget to thumbs up this video. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching Bye. Bye. so first I'm gonna start with this Garnier Fructis moisturizer and it's just kind of like a gel oil free moisturizer I'm gonna put that all over her face then I'm going to outline or kind of fill in her brows using the Rimmel brow pencil And then I'm going to go back over with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. Now I'm going to take this concealer, lighter than her skin tone, and I'm going to shape out the bottom part of her brows and kind of sculpt out the arch. And then I'm going to take the Deep 36 concealer from Kat Von D and I'm going to shape the top part of her brows and this is more closer to her skin tone so it doesn't give her that highlighted halo effect. Now I'm just going to take some more concealer and put it all over her eyelids as a base. Now I'm going to take this Marvy shadow and use that to set the concealer base. Now I'm going to take this tan color and use it as a highlight and kind of a prep for the transition color. And I'm just going to sweep that across the upper lid. Now I'm taking this mauve brown color and using that as a crease color. And then this deeper brown tone to deepen the crease a little more and also on the outer V. Now I'm taking this foiled shadow. This is from the Naked 3 palette and it's a rose tone color. And I'm just using that as the lid color to create a little bit of glamour. And then I'm going to go in that same palette and take a deeper charcoal color and use that on the outer V to deepen up this look. And I didn't want to do too much because I wanted it to be wearable for the daytime. Now I'm going to just clean up the fallout. And I'm going to take my Inglot 77 liner and softly line the bottom of her lid. I didn't want to create a wing so I just did a very simple liner. Then I'm gonna take some mascara and coat her top lashes. We're not gonna use any falsies for this look because that is not her thing. So now I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever primer and this is a mattifying primer so I'm gonna concentrate it mostly on her T-zone and the areas that get very oily but I'm also going to put a light layer around the rest of her face as well. Then I'm going to take this lighter toned concealer and I'm going to highlight her face with it. I could have did a little bit of color correcting under her eyes, but um, I decided to just go ahead with the concealer. So I'm going to use that under her eyes, down her nose, on her forehead, over her lip, and on her chin. Now I'm going to take this black opal foundation stick and use that as a base for my contour. I'm just going to blend that in. I'm going to go over that with my beauty blender and blend in the highlight to the contour.
Now I'm going to take this foundation by True Match L'Oreal. This is in the color C6 and I'm going to place that between each highlight and contour area and anywhere that I did not place any highlight or contour. And then I'm going to go back with my Beauty Blender and blend in that foundation so that it looks smooth, flawless, and you don't see any harsh lines or contours, highlights, or foundation. Now I'm going to take this air spun translucent powder and use that to set all of her highlight areas. And then I'm just going to work in that contour a little bit more because I noticed that it was a little bit harsh and I just wanted to work that in. Then I'm going to go over that contour base with this soft focus black radiance powder and I'm just going to use that to bronze up the outer portion of her face and go over the contour. Now I'm going to use that same powder and I'm going to take a blending brush and contour her nose with it softly. After I finished contouring her nose, I just went back over with my beauty blender and blended in the two powders so that there were no harsh lines or harshness. Then I'm just going to go back over the brows with no extra product. I was just kind of fixing the brows. Then I'm going to take this mineralized skin finish, which is my favorite finishing powder. And I'm going to go over her highlighted areas with that so that they're not so white. Now I'm just taking this e.l.f. blush on her cheeks. It's just a soft pink color for everyday wear. <laughs> now I'm taking this elf highlighter and just using that on the top parts of her cheekbone, a little bit under her brow bone, um, on the tip of her nose and also on the bridge of her nose. Then I'm just going to take some of those brown mauve shadows and create a little bit of definition underneath her eyelid. Now I'm taking this champagne colored jumbo pencil from NYX and lining her waterline and then going over that with some mascara and also adding another coat of mascara to the top lashes since she is not going to wear any lashes. Now I'm going to prep her lips with a little bit of lip moisturizer and blot that away. And then I'm going to take this reddish brown pencil from Rimmel, of course, and line her lips. And then go over that reddish brown pencil with one of the liquid lipsticks from BH Cosmetics called Clara. Then I'm going to go over that with Baby Doll from Wet n Wild just to create a little bit of an ombre effect. Now I'm going to top everything off with a little Fix Plus spray and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Follow me on Snapchat and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.
of jail. <laughs> it's different. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. I like it. <laughs> like this way, but I shouldn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. That's nice. 